I have incredible news for all of you tonight. You see, a federal judge has just ruled that gender-affirming care bans for trans youth are unconstitutional. Now, this judge's ruling only applies in Arkansas because the Arkansas law was being challenged, but it will be cited in cases across the United States challenging these gender-affirming care bans. More importantly was the way that the judge found the law unconstitutional. He listed off 311 individual facts that rip apart all of the anti-trans arguments. I'll list a few of them here. Fact 253, that banning gender-affirming care causes irreparable harm. In fact, 258, that banning this care will mean that some trans youth will not make it to the age of 18. Fact 219 to 224, detransition is rare. And one of the expert witnesses who treated thousands of trans youth said that not a single one of them identified as their birth sex after treatment. Fact 290 to 311, all of the anti-trans witnesses were found to be not credible. They were all recruited by the Alliance Defending Freedom at a Christian conference in Arizona. Fact 191, gender-affirming care is actually less risky than many other pediatric treatments. This was a stunning takedown of all of the anti-trans arguments. And because they found 311 facts, all of them on the plaintiff's side, the state did not win a single one of these fact arguments. They ruled that banning this care is unconstitutional on due process grounds, as well as equal protection grounds. I anticipate many more of these decisions to be coming in the next few months. Until then, happy Pride, everyone.